Are you wanting to travel the world and you're looking for a high paying travel job that allows you to travel in the process while working at the same time? My name is Andrew Lindsay and I show travelers how to travel better, live healthier, and improve their overall lifestyle. And if you enjoy the content in this video, be sure to hit subscribe and hit that notifications bell because I put out a video like this every single week to help travelers. And this week I'm sharing with you some of the highest paying jobs that allow you to travel. So let's jump right in. The first one that we've got is a sales director. Sales directors are in charge of everything as it pertains to sales for their company. It is a requirement for this job for you to travel so that way you can develop relationships with clients, represent the company at conferences, as well as complete a series of other tasks. Sales directors also direct sales organization operations and establish tactics, operational plans, and processes to implement the organizational sales strategy, drive revenue growth, and achieve financial goals. The average income of a sales director is $175,000 per year. Not a bad income for being a sales director. The second one we have on our list is airline pilot. To be an airline pilot typically requires a bachelor's degree in aeronautical science or another field. To be an airline pilot, you will also be required to have an airline transport pilot certificate. As a pilot, you'll be free to explore any city that you land in. Your job as an airline pilot will include determining flight routes, speed, and takeoff, and landing times to meet your scheduled requirements. It will also be your job to ensure the flight and takeoff goes as safely as possible. To be an airline pilot, you will also be required to have a minimum of 5,000 hours of flight experience under your belt. However, it may not be specified the years of experience required. Being certified and or licensed is the main requirement. The average income of an airline pilot is $140,000 per year. The third one that we have on our list is a fun one. It is a cruise ship director. A cruise ship director's job is to oversee all the other staff members on the ship. This isn't an entry level job, however, you will have to have a lot of hospitality and or entertainment experience to do well in this job. However, if you're qualified, you'll get to visit a variety of cruise ports. Not only is this a fun career, but you can bring in about $136,000 a year on a large cruise ship like Royal Caribbean. The cruise director is in charge of activities, entertainment, recreations, and events on the ship for everyone of all ages. Cruise ship directors also help put together performances, entertainment, parties, and more. Cruise line directors can get off the ship when it's docked, and since cruises tend to stop in lots of places, you will get to see lots of places. The average income for a cruise ship director is $136,000 per year. The next one we have on our list is a creative director. Creative directors are in charge of advertising and branding. They work closely with designers, writers, and other members of the creative team to accomplish goals and finish projects. A bachelor's degree in advertising or communications can be helpful if you are considering pursuing this as a career, and you'll probably end up traveling so you can meet with clients quite frequently. At number five, we have got a hotel manager. To be the most proficient hotel manager, you'll be required to have a bachelor's degree in hospitality. It's possible you could get a job at a hotel overseas or in a city where you've never been to before. As a hotel manager, you may even get to travel to go to industry events. The hotel manager's job is to make sure everything at the hotel operates smoothly with no issues. Their job is to manage operations, staff, make sure customers are satisfied, manage efficiency of operation profits, and any other aspects of the hotel. The median salary is roughly $105,000, but if you manage a large hotel, it could be as much as $200,000 per year. Not a bad salary for a hotel manager. Now real quick, if you're enjoying this video, I wanted to mention my free resource, my 10 dream destinations to travel to on a budget. I created this free resource so that way you'd have access to 10 beautiful dream destinations as well as all the resources all in one place so that way you could book your trip, save your time, save your money and have all your planning done all at your fingertips and you can start making memories ASAP. If you want to pick this up, you can do so by clicking the link in the description of this video and I know that you will absolutely love it if you want to take a vacation. Now on to the next travel job that allows you to make good money and travel. Number six is a luxury travel advisor. The difference between luxury travel advisors and regular travel agents is luxury advisors only work with five-star travel, making their average income in the range of six figures or $100,000 per year. Travel advisors do more than just piece together your trip, however. They also give exceptional service and advice as well as manage your vacation time. As a travel advisor, you'll be on the road all the time, especially if you specialize in luxury travel because clients with big budgets tend to want the advisors to experience the product firsthand. The average income for this job tends to be roughly six figures. Number seven, a travel nurse. 
Travel nurses' jobs can take them anywhere that medical care is needed throughout the world. To be qualified for this job, you will need at least to be an RN and preferably a BSN. As a BSN, you'll have an opportunity to accept short-term jobs in different cities and countries. Travel nurses will work in specific locations for limited time frames, ranging from 13 to 16 weeks. Travel nurses make pretty good salaries that are competitive with average salaries of BSN educated registered nurses. The average income for a travel nurse is roughly $76,000 per year. Number eight, we've got an oil rig worker. Oil rig workers make a pretty good salary, and as an oil rig worker, you will hardly ever stay on the same rig for more than a few months tops. So you will be able to travel to many different places around the world. However, this job is not for everyone. Working on an oil rig is very physically demanding, not to mention dangerous and tiresome, as you will be stuck in the middle of the ocean for months at a time. For that reason, it pays very well. There are oil rigs all around the world, so you have plenty of locations to pick from. As an entry-level oil rig worker with no experience, you can expect to earn around $35,000 a year, but depending on your experience level and skill, you can make as much as $200,000 per year. Drilling experts and consultants are in high demand, so there is currently a lot of opportunity. You can easily get a job on a rig and quickly move up the ranks to earn a really solid salary every single year. Number nine is a travel blogger. Not every traveler runs a successful blog, but for the ones that do have some success, they can easily pay for all their travel needs. On top of that, you don't need any special education to be a travel blogger. All you need to know is how to do photography, write, and communicate with brands to establish partnerships. Travel blogging can be a very worthwhile lucrative career, but it does take a lot of work to get your blog up and running. You will need exciting content in addition to knowledge of writing, marketing, and social media to be successful as a travel blogger. The amount of money that can be made here is limitless, but the average is around $60,000 per year. Number 10, we have a photographer. If you are good with a camera, you can work for resorts or travel agencies taking photos for them to advertise what they have to offer. You could also travel doing other photography jobs like wedding photography or stock photo jobs. Photography can be very competitive. I used to be a photographer and I can attest to this, but you can be very successful if you are talented at photography. You can do anything from shooting stock photos, wedding portraits, or become a travel photographer and settle famous brands such as Natural Geographic. Depending on what you do, you can make a healthy living as a photographer. They earn an average of anywhere from $30,000 to $130,000 per year. Now number 11 on my list is a digital nomadic or freelancer. Being a digital nomad has grown in popularity dramatically over the past few years. Thanks to the internet and now the pandemic, people have realized that they can do their jobs remotely from pretty much anywhere, even other countries. You can choose to work as an employee for a company or choose to freelance your own services, selling your services to clients. Basically, if you have a unique skill set, there's a good chance you could offer your services and earn money from it. When you work remotely and freelance, you can pretty much work anywhere and make a great income. There are numerous sites such as Upwork, Freelancer.org, or Fiverr where you can sign up and offer your services. How much you make is up to you, but the opportunity is endless. Number 12 is a tour guide. You have the option to be a tour guide in any city throughout the world. You don't even have to live there. If you move to a different area, get familiar with it so you can start offering touring services. Plus, you have options. There are lots of different types of tours like walking museums, hidden gems, or food tours. On top of earning money from the tour company, you'll also earn tips from your customers. The average tour guide could expect to make around $13 an hour, so their yearly income will range from $20,000 to $30,000 a year. However, this doesn't take into account tips, which can be paired with exclusive and luxury tours, could mean that you make $50,000 to $100,000 per year. Now moving on to number 13, for those of you that like to cook, a private chef might be the right option for you. This isn't exactly an entry level job since you need to know how to cook, but you don't need a degree. The best paying jobs will require that you have some fine dining experience or some level of school education, but you can find a lot of jobs and be hired for just knowing how to cook. There's a lot of opportunity to make good money as a chef, but it is a high stress job. If you can deal with that, you can be paid quite well. You have a wide variety of opportunities such as a yacht chef, hotel cook, personal chef for families, or you could even be a line cook at any restaurant you so choose around the world. And of course, traveling internationally to expand your cooking palette and attend cooking conferences is part of the job. The yearly salary ranges from $35,000 to $150,000 per year. The more experience you get and the more recommendations you get, the more money you can charge. Now for those of you that love to shop, I'll be honest, I love to shop too. International Shopper is the next one that we have on this list. I've never even heard of this job until just recently. 
As an international shopper, you can be paid very well for shopping for individuals or businesses. As a buyer, your job is to travel all across the world to purchase items for your employer. Things you could expect to buy are artwork, clothing, machinery, jewelry, and paying a visit to plant manufacturers and trade shows. This job does not require a degree or experience to get started, but you should have some knowledge going in. You need to be able to tell if items will have any value for your employer. You will have to have skill and personal connection and charisma to succeed as an international shopper. Most people get started in this field through word of mouth or through a recruiting agency, and as a professional, you can earn $40,000 to $70,000 per year. Moving on to number 15, if you like to be on a boat, we've got a yachty. Just to be clear, a job as a luxury yacht crew member can be exhausting. When you have guests on board, you have a 24-7 job. You can oftentimes find work working as a deck or interior crew member. Working on a deck is a very physical job, whereas interior work consists of a lot of customer service. Even though it can be exhausting when your guests are on the ship, you get great tips in addition to your salary. You're usually only contracted for a few months, and since you don't have to pay for living accommodations, you can make a lot of money in a short time frame. The average salary is $3,000 to $6,000 per month and potentially earn an additional $5,000 to $10,000 per month from tips. Being a yachty can be a very financially rewarding job so long as you don't mind hard work and the ocean. Moving on to 16 is a film and video editor. Another great freelancing opportunity that can pay very well is filming and editing. If you can create and produce good quality videos, you can market yourself as a videographer and editor and start working for yourself. In this field, you will be compensated well and pretty much live and travel anywhere you want to while you work. Videographers are needed and sent around the world to film documentaries, YouTube videos, commercials, and so forth. Video editors can make anywhere from $30,000 to $150,000 per year without any particular experience or requirements. Moving on to number 17, for those of you that like to teach, you could teach English abroad. If you are TEFL certified, which is required by most countries, you can teach English abroad. The world's business language is English, and that means there will always be people that need to learn English and a necessity for people who teach it. You can teach privately online or become an English tutor for a company. You can always be confident you will have plenty of opportunity for work. If you want your housing and flight costs paid for, you can even teach through government programs like EPIK in Korea. Even though it is preferred that you have a degree in English or education in addition to a TEFL certification, you can still find work as a private English tutor without prior experience. All you really need is an attractive resume and recommendation. As an English teacher, you can expect to make around $36,000 to $65,000 per year. Moving on to number 18 is a freelance bookkeeper. Bookkeeping can bring in a pretty healthy income. The big difference between this and accounting is you don't need a degree or any prior experience. You're not actually having to calculate or analyze anything as part of the job. Instead, your only job is helping companies keep up with their money. And to your benefit, so many businesses and companies don't want to be bothered with the small stuff. They'll opt to outsource tasks like bookkeeping to save time. You won't need but maybe a little or even no experience to do bookkeeping and it can pay well and allow you to be remote. The income you could expect from this is $35,000 to $75,000 per year. Number 19, for those of you that are social media savvy, consider being a social media consultant. Social media is a crucial aspect for the survival of businesses and most can't live without it. Having a powerful social media presence and a website is absolutely necessary. Companies know how important this is, and that's why they will pay very well for a specialist to handle this for them. Though not necessary, a degree in marketing will give you a major one-up on your competition. However, by showing them your own successful social media platforms, you can very easily land the gig. This is a pretty easy job for young adults since they are far more familiar and experienced with social media and tend to keep up with the trends. You can expect to make $50,000 to $150,000 a year as a social media consultant. And moving on to number 20, we have a web developer. This is another freelancing job that pays well and doesn't require a degree. As long as you can build professional and aesthetically pleasing websites, clients won't care that you don't have a degree. All you need is a portfolio of websites showing you know what you are doing. You can take web development classes on sites such as Udemy or Coursera to learn these skills. As a web developer, you can potentially earn $50,000 to $100,000 per year. So those are 20 of the best travel jobs that I found that are absolutely great for allowing you to make a good income as well as travel with your job. And before we bring this video to an end, I just wanted to bring your attention one more time to my free resource, my 10 dream destinations to travel to on a budget. 
If you are a traveler and you're wanting to travel on a budget, be sure to pick this up because I created this so that way you would have 10 beautiful dream destinations as well as all the resources that you need to plan and book your trip all in one place so that way you can save time, save money, and start making memories ASAP all at your fingertips. And you can pick that up by clicking the link in the description of this video. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like on the video and leave a comment letting me know which one of these jobs appealed the most to you. And if there's any jobs that maybe I didn't think of or didn't put in this video, please be sure to let me know in the comment section. And if you have a travel job yourself that allows you to travel and earn a decent income, please share that in the comments. Let us know because there might be somebody else that wants a job like that who would be interested in doing the same thing that you do. And of course, if this video helps you out at all, please share it. That helps me out a lot, but it can also help someone else out who is looking for an awesome travel job. And I will see you guys next week. Have a great time and enjoy your holidays. Peace.